A week had passed on Earth, and today, the Z Warriors had a well-deserved rest, courtesy of Wiss. After a few intense days, even Vegeta was forced to rest by the Angel, who went to the planet of the Goddess of Destruction, Mew to perform the cleansing. Krillin, Master Roshi, Tien, Chaiatsu, Yamcha, and Pu were met for a camping trip, wanting to get away from everything. Mostly, the old man spent time leafing through adult magazines. Meanwhile, in recent days, Mew had reflected on the jealousy she felt and had come to understand more about a girl named Toka. She found her to be someone simple, kind, and above all, very cheerful. I can't continue studying anymore. Whatever I have to do it, exclaimed the young woman with purple hair as she settled onto a sofa. Diana, who was preparing dinner, would chuckle at her while Goku was with their children watching an anime about a school of heroes. You've been studying all day. You should relax more, and then take one last look recommended Mew to the youngest, while eating some fries. Toka kept thinking about what her Nesama had told her. At the moment, she didn't want to know anything more about studying, but maybe in a little while, she could give it one last look, murmuring, Yumu. With a small smile, Mew the goddess of Universe 7, handed her the bag of fries she still had left in half, and then went to the kitchen where her mother was preparing a good amount of food since everyone there was eating enough. Including the purple-haired girl? Are you coming to help your mother make dinner? How considerate you were daughter, Diana said playfully. Not stopping chopping onions. Ha ha, it was your turn to prepare dinner. You know, I've been wondering, why didn't you revive her parents or redo the time to save them? Mew asked her mother, glancing sideways at Toka. It's delicious, exclaimed the student, amazed by the flavor of the fries, as she had never tried them before. If I were irresponsible, I would have done it. But every action of a god has a cause and effect in the universe. Surely even if I had saved them, they would have died in some other way Diana answered in a serious tone, not stopping cooking. Upon her mother's response, Mew leaned against the wall, with one hand on her chin, whispering, it makes sense. Even Wiss told me something similar a long time ago lost in thought for a few minutes. Somewhere, a kind of portal appeared in the sky, and a person with a black G was present, wearing a silver ring on one finger. Behind him came another person with purple skin, white hair and also wearing the same ring as the first. I hope you're right, hearts, said the first person seriously, standing on the edge at the top of a building. Do you think I would bring you to life just to make you a joke? This is the first timeline, and this is where the goddess is completely hidden, hearts replied with a small smile. I'm not interested in the goddess at all. The only thing I want is to take revenge on Son Goku, exclaimed the bearer of the black G. Ha ha ha, right now Son Goku, who does not dominate the divine key is in your timeline is here. Once you finish with him, you will fulfill your part of the deal, black, ended the white-haired figure, turning around. Ha ha ha, wonderful. I can already savor the victory. Black licked his lips with a psychopathic smile as he prepared to leave, at full speed. Wait a moment, if you go now you will end up defeated in a second. He is with a goddess of destruction, and the goddess of all in these moments. You have to wait for the right moment. Hearts finished seriously before leaving the place, followed by a rather annoyed Black. The next day, Goku and Mew were on their way to Suchin High School, Kama, where Toka attended. They were going to wait for her at the exit, as she wanted to go eat some hamburgers at a fast food place, and the couple did not refuse the request. Diana stayed at home to take care of the babies and watch some television. Did she do well in that exam? Goku asked his partner, walking with his arms behind the back of his neck. Mew smiled softly. I hope so. She deserves it. She spent a lot of time studying these last few days. She replied empathetically as they approached the entrance of the high school comma, where several students were leaving, and a cheerful redhead began to peek out from the crowd. Guys! She shouted happily, but a few meters before reaching the couple, there was an explosion. Bam! The explosion was so massive that it reached three blocks around. Unfortunately, Mew could only react and cover the people close to her with an energy barrier, saving Taka's life. Who was the perpetrator? Cursed Mew angry as a purple aura appeared around her while Goku got back up from the ground. Too slow goddess of destruction, said someone a few meters away, making the white-haired figure open her eyes in surprise, and then freeze as if time had stopped. I will go in search of the others. Don't take too long, black. Hearts finished before making a space-time portal and entering it. But before the portal closed, a white blur entered it. Mew, exclaimed Goku when he saw his partner motionless with a surprised expression. Suddenly, he felt a chill down his spine as he heard someone applauding. Applause now you will feel the wrath of a god, son Goku, Black said as the Saiyan approached, 
speechless when he saw a person identical to himself. So you are the scoundrel who attacked these people, and did this to Mew, he said, his face turning serious. Ha ha ha, any problem with that? Black asked, stopping in his tracks, mocking laugh echoing. On the other hand, Goku looked at him for a few seconds with a stern expression. Tell me who you are, and why you know who I am, he exclaimed, furious. Tisk, a mortal demanding answers from a god. How disgusting, let's end this, Black said, assuming a combat position. So if you are a god, I must be serious, Goku commented before transforming into a Super Saiyan. Without waiting any longer, he threw himself at Black, who stopped the blow easily, surprising the Saiyan. Seriously, is this all your pathetic power? Asked the villain, smiling maliciously before clenching Goku's fist, kneeing him in the abdomen, and then delivering a blow to his arm, breaking it. Ah! Goku shouted as he flew and crashed into a wall, causing it to collapse. Nisama, Toka shouted from the ground, feeling her body weighed down by her wounds. Surprisingly, she was the only one conscious, as her companions, who had been saved by Mew were unconscious. He's incredibly strong. With two blows, he left me in this state, then, the Saiyan whispered as he struggled to stand up. Then I will give it everything I have. He screamed, enveloping himself in a red aura, transforming into the Super Saiyan God phase. However, the broken arm still caused him considerable pain. Tisk, the red phase. So you still haven't reached the blue one, Black whispered before smiling again. Let me show you something that will be worth it, he said, extending his arms. What will be worth it? Goku wondered, his doubt apparent. Ah, the villain screamed, undergoing a transformation. His hair bristled and changed to a pink color, while a dark purple aura surrounded him. Rose, Super Saiyajin Rose, he exclaimed, with a victorious smile as he saw the astonished face of the Saiyan. Goku couldn't believe the absurd power of his enemy. Even with the god phase, he couldn't match him. Without a doubt, they were not just any villain since they could incapacitate Mew effortlessly. I still can't give up. I am the only hope that humans have, Tisk, if the Guardians had not gone to Universe 12, he whispered as he prepared for another round of combat. Get ready, Son Goku, Black shouted, forming a sort of energy, and then throwing several key balls towards the Saiyan. Goku obliterated them with an instant Kamehameha Kama, made with his only available arm. He then jumped to dodge Black's attacks, but the villain unexpectedly appeared above him, driving the sword into his abdomen, and then kicking him in the head sending him crashing into the ground, creating a crater. Goku was now incapacitated, and had lost the transformation. Nisama, Toka cried out, terrified, as she ran to where the Saiyan had fallen. Meanwhile, Black descended from the skies, a huge smile on his face. Ha 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 ha, a little more excitement is missing, he commented before launching several key balls, destroying various structures. Toka knelt, trying to stop the bleeding from the Saiyan with her hands. Nisama, hold on she said desperately. Cough. I'm sorry my power is not enough cough. Goku barely managed to apologize. Don't exert yourself. She told him as she took off her jacket and placed it on his abdomen. Please stay with me. She screamed, nervous and desperate. It's useless. Black exclaimed, slapping Toka and throwing her to the ground. She quickly recovered and stood between Goku and the villain. Don't hurt him anymore. Get out of here you damn wretch. The girl yelled at him angry and afraid of what could happen. Deep down, she had faith that Diana would appear to save them all. Out of the way human! Black yelled, grabbing the girl and tossing her against the wall. Ah! She spat blood upon impact, but the adrenaline of the moment helped her and she managed to recover. With tears and blood on her face, she returned to Goku. It's over, human! Black exclaimed, conjuring the energy sword again. This pushed the young woman over the edge, and she began to agitate. No! This can't end like this. Nisama, if only I had a power like yours. I would protect you. Nisama, Nisama, she said to herself, her voice filled with pain. At that moment, her body began to shine. What? Black exclaimed, taken aback by the shockwave caused by the girl. The blinding purple light sent out a wave of energy, pushing the villain away from Goku. Who the hell is this human? And why does she have this kind of power? Black exclaimed surprised as he saw the girl looking at him with detonation. Goku, barely holding on, looked at Taka's new appearance, and more importantly, the terrifying power she now possessed. Instinctively, he glanced at Mew then back at the redhead, who turned to look at him. Rest, I will take care of everything, Nisama, she said in an authoritative tone before fixing her gaze on Black again.